Good evening. Good night. Once again, we present a man in a room gambling. A man in a room gambling. We will start today's program, if we may, with an apology. We have lost today's program somewhere, in some little memory pocket, or rather we have lost the text that we intended to read, but anyway, seeing that we promised it earlier, we are going to explain the game that the courts and the police have really got it in for, the one known as the three-card trick, or sometimes also as the Mexican roll. Mexican three-card. Basically, the trick is just a card switch. A card switch that everyone has seen at some time on their own town central street. The three-card trick. Using a folding table or a cardboard box covered with a cloth, the performer shows the faces of three cards and slowly lays them down in a row. He pretends to confuse the audience by moving them around on the table. Next, by way of explaining the game, he shows the face of a card and then he turns it back over. Card. He slips it beneath another card in such a way as to push it up until it too turns face up. Card. He then does the same with the third card. We wouldn't advise you to bet, because your chances of losing are 100%. Thank you very much. In the normal three-card trick that we explained last week, if the spectator bets without looking at the cards or at any of the action, the loss of probability would be 2 to 1 against him and 2 to 1 in favor of the trickster. Professional. He could conceivably break the band. Thank you very much. But in this version, the ace is never the card you point to, because the trickster on the other side of the table it switches the card of his choice for the one you choose. Excellent and then switches that for the third card, card when all he seems to be doing is turning them over. The now, let us go over it with the pack. As on every evening, take your pack of cards. Today, you don't need to shuffle because we are only going to use three cards. Three card trick. Remember that one of them must be an ace. Take the three cards and lay them on the table, face down, one after the other. Put one of them aside. Thank you very much. Now, take one of the two remaining cards in your right hand. Right hand. Hold it between the tips of your thumb and index finger, by the right side near the bottom corner, with your thumb on top. Thumb, index finger. A little finger. Slide the free side of this card beneath the right side of the card on the table until two thirds of it are hidden and all that is showing is one centimeter at the top end. The raised corner at the bottom of the card on the table is now resting against the tip of your middle finger. Thumb. Now pay close attention. Slide your thumb towards the corner of the card on the table holding it against your middle finger. Thumb. Carry it a little to the right and turn the lower card with the tip of your index finger. Card. Index finger. You mustn't show the slightest hesitation while you are doing this. When you slip the card in your hand beneath the card on the table and then turn the one in your hand as if it were the one on the table, you must do everything in a single move. Now, slide the card on the table. Card. Under the third card. Card. And perform the same switch. Three card trick. The important thing is that you should not have any hesitation. Any indecision. Thank you and good night. Good night.